Yeah, hi there. More and more people are using uh, Driven by Mars with Reaper. So Driven by Mars is a tool which allows to use many, many controllers with Reaper. And I thought I'd do this little reference video to get you going with this software. So first thing to do is to download it from my homepage, which is mosgrabers.de, which you can read here as well. So this is a start page. Normally there's some use for an update, so you can directly click here on the Reaper. If not, you can go to music software, Cocos Reaper controller support, and you are here in the right place. So here is a Driven by Moss for Reaper support. It's also available for Bitwig if you uh, are a Bitwig user as well. So here you see different versions for older Reaper versions as well. If you are on a Reaper 5 uh, still, for example, but the latest one is for Reaper 6.12. You simply go here to the download page you need to check what is your OS so the download is available for Windows Mac OS also ARM is supported now or for Linux I have Windows so I download the Windows version let's check out the downloaded file here it is let's open that so you can use any unzip program that you have on your computer extract it here to a folder and what is important if you extract it with the zip tool of your choice make sure that the folders are intact this is very important the first thing to note if you go here to the docs folder there is the manual and the manual contains the installation process in all detail you can also see here the chapters and if you click in installation 2.2 is a very very detailed cocos installation and i tried to document all the issues users came up in the last years with and also the specific for Mac OS, specifics on Linux, because Linux has some specific security restrictions which you need to look into. And yeah, this should keep you going if I miss something here in this little video. So what you need to do first is you need to locate the configuration folder of Reaper, which is not so easy to find. On my Windows system here, it's in the user folder, but in a hidden folder so you need to check to show the hidden files and there is a app data folder in app data you need to go to roaming and in roaming you find reaper folder and this is finally the folder we are looking for and in that there is a user plugins folder and there you can put the extension file for driven by moss as well going back here to the extracted folder and what you simply need to do is to move all of these files into that folder okay we have the document open so let's close that so we can also move that you actually only need the DLL and the Java runtime folder and the driven by Moss Lips folder. Um, resources contains additional templates. For example, if you, for example, have a Machina Mark III, there it's necessary to install a template in the Machina device or for OSC, there are some example templates and so on. But this is also noted in the specific sections of the manual. So if we go here in into the manual. Let's stick with the example of the machine. And if you go there, you will see there are additional installation notes for this specific device, what you need to do. So also check out the specific section, or if you have an MCU, there is no additional installation necessary, but there are some configuration notes. So it's always a good idea to check the reference and at least read the first introduction paragraphs of your specific device and check if you need to do some something else than installing the software. So if we have copied uh, the software also for the other for Mac OS on Linux, as I said, where you need to put it on these systems, it's also documented in here. So here it is on Mac OS, it's under library, also in your users folder application support Reaper user plugins. And in Linux, it's also in a user folder under code.config Reaper user plugins. So this should be also not too difficult for you to locate these folders and copy the files so finally we can restart to reaper let's do that you need to go to the preferences uh, dialog and there you need to select at the bottom there is control or see in web and 
if you click on add there should now be here in the list there should be driven by moss for reaper if it's not showing up you put it in the wrong location so check again the folder where you put the files also check that there is no subfolder or anything okay that's also something worth mentioning where i moved it in the user plugins folder it needs to be directly like this so the dll needs to be found directly under user plugins so don't move the whole folder if you unzipped it to a folder on your desktop so we have it now then here you can click on ok and then you can call up the configuration dialog which either you can open from here by double clicking and there you see here now the configure and then you can go into the configuration window what i did i put it on a shortcut which is also available here in the show action list and if you search there for driven by moss you will see two options the first one is to open the configuration window and the second one is you can have specific parameters stored with your project for your controller for example a scale setting and this can also be put on a shortcut and i put it here on control shift and j and that control alt and shift and j and then i simply just need to press here this button combination and i'm directly in the configuration window i already have some controllers configured so let's get maybe rid of them so remove uh, removes a controller when you start it it will be an empty area here here you will also see some login information if the startup of your controller work and what you can simply do is click on the detect button and it will try to detect the available controllers on your system and as you see here it directly found my push controller the machine mark 3 and mcu but the mcu it's a little bit dangerous because if you have uh, multiple mcu devices with extenders it picks up the first one which is only one so uh, i want to have it with two and then there's also the option to edit manual in such cases or there are also generic controllers or the oc which you also need to add manually for the mackie i like to have a mackie universal protocol with one extender because i have one main device with one extender and then you can go to the configuration page for that controller and then i can set up the in and outputs which are already uh, stored here because i configured it before and then you also have here the correct settings so this is available for each and every controller this very longish configuration page is where you have lots of settings for your controller and check out the manual what each of these settings means also something to note here i mentioned uh, these uh, project specific settings these are also available from here but you should put definitely put them on a shortcut so for example here for the push you can store quite some stuff the scale settings uh, play user pages for parameters and stuff like that also for machine controller mcu has no settings but machine has also scale settings and some other stuff note repeat settings and you can store that here as well Okay, some other things to note besides the installation. If you have any questions, I tried to link that in red by now on my homepage, but it's still complicated to read for some people, I think. If you have questions and bug reports, please post them here into the Reaper thread, which you find in the Cocos uh, support forums, and just go to the last page and add new questions or bug reports in that. So this makes it much easier for me to have it in one place and not to to be addressed on Facebook or whatever. If you do a bug report, I always get very funny stuff. For example, stuff like that. This is crap, it does not work. Yeah, that's good for you to get your hatred uh, towards uh, someone else, but that doesn't help anybody. A little bit better is that one, which I received last week. Uh, Aftertouch is not working, but it did before. Yeah, <laughs> also very helpful information. At least I need to know which controller is that, what are you talking about? How can I reproduce that? So a little example, which should keep everybody going is okay i have an issue with my machine mark 3 controller and you should always give some steps to reproduce for example very easy example here start bitwig i press the play button on machine mark 3 playback does not start but it should start and i'm on windows 10 have the latest release of all patches and i'm running not in that case bitwig but i'm running reaper whatever what is it, current is something and with that information i can 
at least try to reproduce your issue and I have further questions I can still ask. But at least give your OS because OS differences, especially with Reaper, are important. And yeah, some steps to reproduce will make me very, very happy. Also, if you're not that much of a fan of reading manuals, there's a lot of documentation videos on my YouTube channel, which you, I guess you found it already because you're watching this video. Most of the videos are done for Bitwig, but the usage is exactly the same or in the way how Reaper works the same. So you can also watch these to understand how you use uh, your controller with Reaper. Something also to point out is what are the differences between Bitwig and the Reaper driven by most version because I mainly develop it for Bitwig and Bitwig has some different functionality for example the clips and stuff which are not available in Reaper and how this is emulated or workarounds are documented as well and you should definitely absolutely read the known issues sections here for Reaper what are limitations which is stuff which is not available in Reaper or how I worked around for, for scenes you can have something similar here uh, also user parameters meters and stuff crossfader yeah and also some further issue notes so if you run into any problems please first check the manual the installation notes check the known issues notes and read the section about your controller because if there are questions from users coming up and i found a solution i normally document that in here as well so there's a quite good reference to work around that okay uh, got a little bit longer than expected this video but I hope this keeps you going with Reaper and Driven by Mars and make some funky music.